Today I'm going to be starting off a new series that focuses on the basics and uh, beginning the journey to modding the GTA and fi with 5M and just modding in general. So in this video we're going to be focusing on Codewalker. So that being said, download it. What you're going to need to do is join the Codewalker Discord and go and download the latest release from the releases channel. Should be the latest one at the bottom here. Go ahead and click download and then open up the zip folder and unzip the uh, folder inside. Then go ahead and open up the folder and you'll be met with like a bunch of different files. Uh, so there's codewalker.exe, this is the main like world view, and then there's the vehicle viewer, which just views vehicles, of course. And then the other one is the RPF Explorer, which is like the file browser for uh, GTA files. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and open up codewalker.exe. Go ahead and click yes. And then if it doesn't automatically select your f folder path, just uh, set it manually, then uh, click OK. And go ahead and click OK again. And it'll start loading. Up here to the top right, you can expand these arrows, and you'll be met with a bunch of other tools. And then you can press T, and then it'll open up the toolbar. And then once everything's loaded, you'll see up here on the toolbar, there's this arrow, or this mouse cursor. This is how you select things. If you click it, you'll see that now you can select different things. Um... You can also enable the move tool, but you can also do this by pressing W. And to move the camera, left click is to pan or like rotate the camera. Roll zooms in and out. And then right click, you can change the time of day. And W, A, S, and D moves the camera as well. So just move around freely like this. Then uh, you can also use the rotate tool like this. And additionally, what we're going to do here on the right on the panel, you can expand this if you want. We're going to change the DLC level, this drop down here to MP sum 2. And then we're going to click enable DLC. You don't have to do this, but this is the preferred one I usually use. It causes the least amount of problems with uh, doing map stuff. And once it's loaded, you can go to Options, click, and then click Save Settings. This way it will be set like this for when you start up Codewalker. Now, if you go to the Selection tab up here on the top right, you'll see... Uh, whatever is selected here, it'll give all the different info for it. Then, let's say you wanted to view this model in the model viewer. What you can do is go uh, here and copy the name, and then go to Tools, and then RPF Explorer. Here's the file browser or RPF Explorer for GTA files. And then here on the top right, you can just go ahead and click Search with your name put. Uh, in the search bar and then here you'll find the model you can just go ahead and double click on this and now you can view the model 